Today we celebrate the feast of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary. And I often wondered what it was like when Joseph was growing up as a young man, as a child, and then as a young man, and wondering what his future was going to be like. He didn't know that the angel was going to come to him and ask him to take Mary as his wife, who was going to be the mother of God. He was a common man. Certainly his life in growing up <clears throat> was full of faith, had a great deal of patience for the working of the Lord in his life, and perhaps he didn't understand any more than we do the future and what the future held for him, but he had that huge faith, faith, the conviction of things we do not know are going to happen, but certainly a hope about the things that will take place in our lives. And he must have had this because God himself asked him to be, through the angel, God himself asked him to be the husband of the mother of God. And that took a great deal of trust on his part. Reminds me also of the story of Abraham. Abraham, who at a very old age was asked to found a nation and to go to a foreign country. And he hadn't planned this. He may have known nothing about it ahead of time. But yet he believed and felt in his heart and trusted that what the Lord was asking him to do was really what he was called to do in his, in his life. And we know how that story worked out. Abraham became the father of many nations. So I think in our own lives we need to look at these events, particularly this event that is happening now. I recall back in the 1960s when we had riots in Detroit. And at the time the riots began, I was on the top floor of Providence Hospital in Southfield, looking down over Detroit, seeing the flames come up, and going home in the evening and hearing tanks coming down Telegraph Road to bring peace to the city of Detroit. And yet, we made it through that. We had faith in our God. We have faith in one another that things will turn out okay. We had the 9-11 riots, and we know we made it through that. We learned a great deal. So I think from this type of situation we're going through now, it's an opportunity to, for us to grow in our faith, to grow in our appreciation of our family members, to grow in our love of our family members and to appreciate that we have members who care for us and people that we can care for. And we are so blessed in that respect. So if we keep patience and continue to turn our hearts over to the Lord and stay open and allow him to work in us and to bring the graces that only he can give, we will come through this challenge as stronger men and women. And if we are stronger men and women with a greater and deeper appreciation of faith and who God is in our lives, we will be true evangelizers. We will be examples to the world and those around us that faith does work and faith will help us to continue on our journey of faith. So God bless all of you and continue to be hopeful, continue to pay attention to our loved ones and one another, and to pray for all of us as I pray for all of you. God bless all of you.